Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we want to uh, manufacture this part right here, which is a conical shape a container. So the first thing uh, we're gonna do is to export this part uh, outside of this assembly. Go to export. Sort it. And uh, it's actually I just exported it, so it's there. Container two. So let's just open it because I have already exported this part as XT. As we open the part, we, we don't see it because we are on the zero zero and the scale is too small to see the part. So we uh, press Control F, and now we can see the part. So in order to manufacture this part, uh, we need uh, we need to manufacture three parts and then weld them together, like weld, use, use weld, weldment. Like there, there, would, there would be a welding line uh, right here, right here, and a welding line right here. So we need three parts, this uh, cylindrical uh, part and this conical part, and we need this uh, circular uh, sheet metal. Um, there, there, uh, there would be uh, two welding parts, uh, two welding lines as well. Like uh, one welding line would be in this, uh, in this line. So because uh, this cylindrical uh, sheet metal uh, would be uh, a sheet, an unbent sheet, like a square sheet, and then we would bend it to make the circle, and then we weld it right here to completely make the cylinder. And uh, the conical uh, is the same thing. So in order to uh, get the shape that we want to make with laser cutting, uh, the unbended the the unbended sheet metal or the unbended like conical shape, uh, we need to get uh, something called uh, the unbend. You know. So uh, we have to unbend this sheet metal. In order to do this, we're gonna do it uh, for the three parts. The the parts in the in the bottom is gonna be just uh, a sheet metal uh, cut by a laser cut, uh, and uh, we won't have to bend it. So it's just uh, it's just this. So we're going uh, uh, to extract this part. We're going to extrude. Uh, we're going to extrude uh, something like this, and then we are going to make it as a sheet. And then we press apply. I'm gonna use this sheet to split the bottom part from the other part. Split body. And then we are going to select the plane that we have, the face that we have just made. I press apply. Uh, in my selection filter, I'm already selecting. Oh, I'm not selecting. If I want to select this part and hide it, uh, I won't, it won't show. It will show the whole body. So I'm going to make my selection filter as solid body, and then I will hide this one. Of course, I can select the sheet because the sheet is not a solid body. Now uh, the first uh, the first part is ready to produce. I'll just export it as uh, DWG or DXF, uh, and give it to the manufacturer of the laser cutting machine. And uh, now for these two parts, we have to split them first as well. So we're going to use split body. Uh, for this one, we're going to use uh, just a plane to split them. It's going to be a new plane, and it's going to be and it's going to be parallel to this plane, the XY plane, and and it goes. And it goes through this point, the center line of this point. And we're going to say apply. Now we have two uh, separate solid bars, this one and this one. So uh, as we've said before, this is the first weldment, uh, welding. This, this is going to be the first welding line, the circular edge right here. And we have two more lines to produce, which is the, uh, as we've said before, the, the line and perpendicular to the, the the plane itself. So what we are going to do is we are going to sketch 
something in the yeah, in the uh, x y plane and we are gonna make our sign and assist do it anyway right now For this part, uh, I would make the gap between the two. I can't select uh, the dimension because I have selected solid part. Let's bring it back and make the dimension one millimeter or something. You can uh, uh, customize this uh, as you want. And uh, this is going to be this is going to be the thing that we are going to cut our part, our two parts with. So. Uh, Okay, we're gonna delete this one later. So we're gonna subtra subtract uh, from the first one. I keep pressing the wheel button and uh, it keeps... Uh, yeah, so we're gonna make the value uh, through all and then we press apply. So there we have our welding, our second welding line, or our third, uh, third welding line because this is the first, this is the second, the circular on the bottom, and, and the bottom, sorry, and we have this third one. Now we need the other one for the last part, so we're going to use the same sketch, and we are going to use it on different body, but we have to make it through all and then press apply. So right now we our part is ready to be converted or to be unbent. Let's delete this uh, unnecessary. All right. So uh, we go to application, sheet metal, and then we convert to sheet metal. It was actually a wizard, but we don't need the whole wizard because our um, our our parts doesn't have edges that have been bent. So we're just gonna go to the last step, which is convert, convert to sheet metal. And for the top part, we're gonna use convert to sheet metal. And we press finish. And it's gonna make our sheet metal part that has been bent like this. So in order to unbend this, we're gonna go for flat pattern and flat solids. And then we are gonna select the face and we press apply. So there is our uh, sheet that we have to cut using the laser cutting machine if we want to hide this guy here. We don't have actually to hide it, so let's just keep it right there. So this is our uh, square or a rectangular that we are going to cut on the laser cutting and then we are going to pin it uh, to this shape. For the conical shape, we're going to do the same things. Convert to sheet metal. We can actually go to the convert sheet metal uh, uh, step from uh, here, like so, uh, so not to waste a lot of time. And we select the base, the base face. Okay, and then we press apply, and we have our converted to sheet metal. Because uh, before we couldn't uh, use any of the sheet metal uh, uh, like uh, things. On this part we have to convert it first and then we press apply and there you go so it has unbent so we have to take this part and put it on a 2d drawing and uh, export it to the manufacturing guy and he will cut it and then we go on to bend it uh, and make a conical shape with this exact dimensions and then we are going to weld the three parts together and uh, thanks for listening that was it for uh, this part uh, remember that any uh, if you missed any step like if you have not to make this uh, extruded cut or if you have not uh, make this 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 extrude cut, uh, this these all things will, will not work so you have to be careful with that uh, thanks for listening and uh, this was it for this video uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a like thank you